Hello, 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 and happy midweek Wednesday to all of my Rams, Aries. I am talking to each and every one of you all. Hopefully, you all create a great day. Hopefully, you all create space to make every day a great day. Remember, intentions are very, very important to set each and every day. So let's get right into your general reading. These are the Vice Here's Tarot deck by Chris Ann. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We also have the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Yes, we also have this as well. So let's get into your general reading. You know this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's see what's to come. Let's see what's to come. Let's have what's coming up next, Aries. What's coming up next? Ooh, somebody's celebrating outside of a building. Very nice. Here we have the Six of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. We have the King of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. Somebody is really, really on fire. I love, love, love this, right? And all it took was one thing. Oh my gosh. I love it, love it, love it, Aries. I love it. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Four of Wands. This is the one thing that it took. You sailing away from the depth of emotions about something, right? Could have involved an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but somebody just decided, hey, I'm moving on. I'm moving on from this. Emotionally, I have just, I'm gone. I'm disappointed that things did not um, work out the way that I thought they would, right? Remember, not everybody's on the same frequency as you. Somebody has been overthinking something, like really ruminating over it. And this is this goes to a part of you all being a giver. Somebody was over giving time, energy, and attention. And really, you were giving away your power to it. Whatever it is you were overthinking, somebody has some deep emotions for somebody, right? And deep emotions towards it, whether deep emotions is fear, love, hate, anger, frustration, whatever that emotion was, it was deep, 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 right? And somebody just got tired of overthinking it. And it could have been in anybody. It could have been an ex, a current, family member, you name it. We're not talking about the temporary shell it comes in. We're talking about the spirit that you really, really had like a lot of deep emotions for. But that's all so it was taken away from the depth of your creativity. But I see somebody was victorious at sailing away. Somebody finally did it, right? And started pouring all that creativity into their business. Okay, all right, I see you. You're feeling very happy, magnetic, and free. And somebody could be celebrating in their house or outside of their house. But nevertheless... You're celebrating. All right. I'm telling you that one act, somebody was asking, somebody asked during um, the month of February, give me the strength to move on from something. Just give me the strength. I need to move on from this. You know, I'm tired of being disappointed. I'm tired of this kind of ghosting kind of energy, this kind of you know, the emotional roller coaster up and down and all over the place. I'm just tired of it. I, and when I, it's taking away from other things that I want. So again, I see somebody celebrating. Somebody was able to get to the heart of the matter, whatever it was. Whatever the heart of the matter that was causing some kind of heartbreak and causing you to overgive, somebody got to the heart of that. It took a lot of soul searching. Somebody was really, really in hermit mode. So... Um, that's a good thing. Here we have the judgment card. Somebody has just been focusing on decluttering, physically decluttering your house and physically decluttering your life, right? Here we have the Knight of Cups. We have the King of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the three of one, three of swords, excuse me, and we have the six of cups. Somebody had to really tap into their childlike faith because there is a lot of emotion. That's why I said before I, these these cards even came out. Somebody was dating somebody who was really really a sweetheart in the beginning. I mean, like when you first met them, they were really really a sweetheart. And just seemed to be on your same frequency at the time. But I want you to consider something, Aries. 
when you met that person, there was some emotions, the, some, somebody was emotionally deficient. Like you could have been, you could have not had the best relationship with your family. You could have, um, lost a job, just gotten out of a bad relationship. Something happened to you that was where there was a crack in your spirit emotionally, right? And they came in and they seemed just like this. The knight in shining armor, it could have been a man or woman. Yeah, they could have had Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart as well. You may even have a child or kids with this person. But as time went on, because something emotionally was out of balance with you, they seemed like a snake. But really, snakes represent rebirth. They represent death, rebirth. So somebody had a kundalini experience, right? And you're starting to learn how to trust your own intuition again. So emotionally, you're stepping away. You're moving away from actually continuing to be burned emotionally. You're like, okay, that's enough. I'm, I'm walking away from this thing emotionally and I'm stepping into my own light, right? So somebody sat down somewhere and started meditating and it and tapped into their higher selves. This crown chakra right here, whether you went and sat near a body of water, drinking more water, bath, shower, lake, pool, whatever, but somebody is sick and tired of overthinking it, right? So yeah, I do see you mending your own broken heart, but really getting to the root of it as to why you overgave. You could say, hey, I'm a giver, and people keep taking from me, and I keep giving, 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 but yeah, I do see somebody celebrating outside of a building. Why? Because emotionally they just sailed away from a situation that could have broken their heart. Because when you look at it, you look like you look at it on the surface. You can look at a person that you dated or were in a relationship with and say, that person broke my heart. But when you look deeper as to why you overgave in the first place, that's where the healing really begins. When you go deeper, like long before you met that person, why did you, why did you get over give that person? It can't be just superficial because of the way that they look, because you felt sorry for them, right? At what point do you stop feeling sorry and say, okay, this person is dragging me down with them. At what point do you stop feeling sorry and start nurturing yourself? So again, I say at a higher frequency, somebody is seeing it all. And that's the thing that prompted you to sail away from that energy. So again, they could have any sign in their chart. They could have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in their chart. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. They can have, they can even be a fellow Aries. They could be a Leo or Sagittarius somewhere in their chart. But they were disrupting your life. It's it on the surface. It seemed as that they were the ones that was disrupting your life. But really, that pain was just piling on top of each other but it started long ago before you even met that person because if you were completely balanced out in the beginning there's no way that person would have lasted that long in your life the high priestess uh-huh which is attached to the moon is a person of cancer so the uh, the moon card is attached to the sign cancer but this high priestess energy your intuition is so heightened right now at this higher frequency, you're really tapped in. You're really, really emotionally and spiritually tapped in right now. So again, whether you're watching these tarot card readings or whether you are sitting down somewhere and meditating and really going to your highest selves, yeah, that's what you are doing. That is what you are doing. There's a lot of emotion, but it's equally the amount of the creativity in there too. So again, this could even be a house that you sold. It could be a courthouse. It could be any kind of a house, a building, a structure, even an apartment building. But I see you celebrating, right? Here we have, I am the sender and receiver of reality. I meet myself in an unbroken embrace. Just in case somebody wants to take a screenshot, boom. Then we have, once you realize this, the central role you play in creating your life, you will embrace every day as a new world. Renewal is effortless and spontaneous. Yes, Aries, I see you. Yes, Aries, I see you. All right, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it moving, Aries. All right. Ground yourselves. Your intuition again, number seven. Look at the number seven on the knowledge channel to see exactly what number seven looks like. Um, but again, I see somebody taking more nature walks, really 
recharging. Even if you're not taking nature walks, you're sitting in the house with that building that you're in is grounded to the earth. So you're sitting down somewhere and remember activating your what? Crown chakra, seeing things from a God level of clarity, not overthinking it, just seeing it for what it really, really is. And again, sailing away from those emotions and moving forward. Yes, and moving forward, forward, march. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. Somebody is moving forward. They're just, like I said, forward, march. They're not looking back. Yeah. A new start is coming. Yes, a new start is coming from you. Because somebody is really starting to really pay attention to their intuition and act sooner. This is not where you're going to say, have a pity party. Oh, I just keep giving to that person and they just keep taking, taking, taking. No, they only take it because you keep giving. They only taking up your time because you keep giving your time. They're taking your money because you keep giving it. You keep giving energy. So that's they taking it. But again, somebody got to a point where they said, listen. I am not their God. If they're not ready to go where I'm going, if they're not ready to ascend higher on the same frequency as I am, I'm just going to have to declutter and leave it behind, leave that energy behind, the emotions behind attached, okay? But that's what I have for you, Aries. I'll see you again in a couple of days. Bye.